Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Israel will consider every serious proposal to extend the truce, a government spokesman said, after a six-day pause in fighting. OK, good afternoon, everyone. Elon Levy said Israel was committed to returning all 161 hostages home. He added that chilling new details about life as Hamas hostages have emerged following the releases and shared testimony from the father of Emily Hand, who spent her ninth birthday as a hostage in Gaza. As the survivors of Hamas captivity return home over the last week, we're beginning to discover new chilling details about life as Hamas hostages. I'm, of course, not at liberty to share information from the official investigations, but the evidence that the families have been sharing with the media is chilling. The hostages were not held in reasonable conditions, as some have cl cynically claimed. Our children were serially abused. The testimonies are harrowing. Uh, little Emily Han's father, Thomas, has movingly told media that she only speaks in whispers because she was conditioned not to make a noise. He sees the terror in her eyes. She thought that she had been held hostage for a whole year. Meanwhile, the Palestinian Ministry of Health is reporting that two children have been killed by what it says was Israeli army gunfire in the city of Jenin in the West Bank. Footage showed Israeli military vehicles manoeuvring through the streets while gunshots were heard in the background. The Israeli army has been carrying out a wide-scale military operation there, which began on Tuesday evening. The pause in fighting has allowed aid agencies to take advantage of the current truce to deliver food and water to Palestinians. Here, the UN relief agency UNRWA handing out bags of flour and fresh water in Khan Yunus in the south of the territory. There are about 1.7 million internally displaced Gazans, many of whom moved to the south of Gaza away from the most intense fighting. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has reaffirmed the United States and NATO's continued support for helping Ukraine in the face of ongoing Russian aggression. After a NATO-Ukraine meeting in Brussels, Mr. Blinken said the message of an enduring commitment to Ukraine was clear from every single country around the table. Kuleba added that there was a clear no to fatigue and a clear yes to continued and increased support for Ukraine. It's striking to see this spirit and of unity mm. in the room on this on these two issues. The relationship, the partnership between NATO and Ukraine is also vitally important. Uh, we reaffirm the commitments made at Vilnius that Ukraine will become a member of NATO when allies agree and conditions are met. Uh, but we also focused intensely on the practical work that uh, is being done and will continue to be done as we head to the Washington summit next year on uh, continuing to strengthen Ukraine's capacity. A U.S. military aircraft with six people on board has crashed off Yukushima Island in southwestern Japan. Japan's chief cabinet secretary, Hirokazu Matsuno, broke the news during a regular news conference, adding that seven people had been injured. Japan's Coast Guard said one person had been found dead near the crash site. The CV-22 Osprey hybrid plane had been heading from Iwakuni base in the western Yamaguchi prefecture to Kadena base in the country's southwestern Okinawa region. A Turkish flagged tanker has run aground off the coast of Istanbul due to stormy weather. That's according to Turkey's maritime authority. All of the 11 crew personnel were evacuated from the ship, which ran aground around 1 a.m. local time on Wednesday. Wind speeds were around 50 kilometers per hour near Istanbul around that time, according to the Turkish State Meteorological Service. And Paris's Notre Dame Cathedral's reconstruction efforts have entered a new stage as work begun on its new spire. Workers on high scaffolding could be seen installing the new spire's framework on Wednesday. The iconic structure had collapsed in 2019 during the blaze that ravaged one of France's most visited landmarks. The spire's new iteration, made of oak, is designed to be an identical copy of the previous one, and its framework should be finished by late December. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.